Hey, what's up, fighters? Fireman1995 here, and welcome back to some more Soul Calibur Legend. So, last time on Soul Calibur Legend, we did the Great Himalayas, and then we went to Uma Village to defeat Geki Monkey with Taki and Sophia. So, in this episode, we're going to be doing Mithrushi and Astros admission, which is going to be at the Pyrenees Trail. So, anyway, before we begin, if y'all could do me a huge favor and leave a like on this video, I would really appreciate it. So, yeah, so, so far we only have one out of, I want to say three or four teams, I don't, I have no idea how sick free counts or whatnot, but yeah, so, so this time we're going to be doing Pyrenees Trail with Mithruji and Astros. First mission is called Defense Line in the Wilderness, defeat the Imperial Army that has turned to evil. So, yeah. Uh, something I want to talk about, um, and this topic is about, um, it is about Astros. Well, remember what I said about, uh, hating, uh, Astros as a fighter? Well, I, I do on, um, I, I do on this game, but I don't on, uh, some of the other Soul Calibur games. Like, um, for example, I actually like Astros on, uh, Soul Calibur 3. I actually did play it, but that was actually a game I don't own. But, um, Soul Calibur 2, which I do own, Astros is actually really good on there, and he has a really good weapon he uses. With the only disadvantage being, um, not being able to fly. And that is a Tarantos, a legendary sword. Pretty much the uh, second to last sword that you collect in the game. For the last, with the last one being the joke weapon, which is called the Rock. And to be honest, it actually does make a funny uh, monkey sound, if you ask me. So, so I honestly have oh no what did I just do hopefully I can still okay okay it worked <laughs> oh snap there are four of them and I just got hit by one out of five rock but that better than getting by getting hit by all of them <laughs> at least so yeah Pretty much my reason for Astros is, I honestly don't think he's too too good in uh, this game, even for being a powerhouse. Because look how slow he is compared to some of the other ones. In fact, I even think he's like the slowest character of the game, if I'm correct. But someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But that's basically my opinion about. Astros. Some of you are probably gonna hate me for not liking Astros, but I don't care. I really don't. <laughs> so, that's all I want to talk about. I mean, for me, Furuki, I, I do like him. Um, besides, I did say he was one of my favorites. But he's not my favorite on the overall. Especially with some of the other Soul Calibur games I played. Sorry, sorry, my so sorry, my throat was about to act up there. But yeah. But yeah. But if you guys have not noticed on like the dialogue, Astros actually does not say much on here. Because all he cares about is, well, just throwing enemies in that. Mm, that's really all he cares about. And I actually don't blame him for being like a so-called god or whatnot, but we're mm, having a big ass and whatnot. But but those are. <laughs> Those are medieval types of thing, you know, but 
I'm sure, I'm sure majority of you know that by now, but yeah. Which is really what, um, what this game is, what Soul Calibur is. But if you guys don't know, there's your answer. <laughs> This just, I just thought I would bring a little, uh, his, his historic right there. Oh, that was a good, that was a good hit. Uh, any word for that? Uh, okay, now it's a good time to switch. What the heck? Okay, I have no idea what I just did there before I did that dive attack. <laughs> you know? So. <coughs> that was my throat again. So, yeah, that's pretty much my reason for saying that Astrox doesn't say much. All you see on the dialogue is just dot dot dot. While me through she just does all the babbling talking and that. I'm not trying to say that in a disrespectful way, but that's pretty much my reason for that. Um And look like we're slaying a dragon for the end. And apparently I attacked too 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 quick right there. I don't see anywhere else to go. So it looked like we gotta defeat this this dragon. <laughs> wow, that this is coming a lot shorter than I thought. Maybe I'll do me maybe I'll do Siegfried, but I might be saying it too early, but But I'm I'm actually looking at the time and we only been recording for seven minutes in that. Uh, let's see what our score is. And we got a class up. And A rank. And I just realized we got all the A rank um, on the last episode. Because I previously looked at it and yeah. So now we're Diamond Knight. Which we're not going to get any new weapon. Because we already got all the second weapons. I think, but, yeah. And now, we have a new sword. And it looked like it's Mithrushi's sword. Because it's really easy to tell between Astros and Mithrushi's sword. This is called a CCO. This is Mithrushi's main weapon. So, that's pretty much that. But now, we, we are going back to the Temple of Ammon to defeat Guardian and Ammon. The, the easiest boss, basically in my opinion, in the game for boss battles and that. No, seriously. I'm, I'm actually not kidding with that. So, yeah. So, I guess I'll sh show this weapon off. Since this is the first time, it appears. But that first one went by really fast, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love how Astros just grunting. <laughs> Where he's like, <laughs> It's just really cool. Also, I did not count, like, how many screens the uh, ninjas have screen, but, but, yeah, but, I am gonna showcase that, um, by the end of this video, because I did say, um, because I did say that I was gonna, that I wanted someone to do a countdown of how many screens those ninjas did, and that, I mean, the ninjas that screened when we defeated them, of course. <laughs> and as you see right now, we have some 
tougher Berserker, the filler Berserker, the guy that actually much worse than, than the previous Berserker we've been facing. But, I really don't find him all that threatening, even though I say I hate him all the time, but yeah. And, they have more HP. And that was kind of not fair, because I got, I got, I got hit when I already did get hit, you know? And now he's just blocking a lot, but thankfully he let the guard down. I am happy for that. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fight these enemies, because... Who doesn't like fighting enemies? I know that's kind of dangerous for me to do, though, but... I just can't resist. I want to get rid of the Berserkers. As much as I hate them. I don't care if I'm, like... Outnumbered by these Berserkers, and they're very tough to beat. But, they're really not that bad as long as you're used to them. And, and fortunately, I am. Just, just saying. <laughs> and I think that should be the last of these uh, Berserkers in this area we're in. But first, I'm gonna grab this HP and grab this Blade Heart because Astros really needs some. Plus, I had him and given him some. <laughs> Not much else to say, really. But now we activated all the switch. I know I kind of wasted a few minutes on those Berserkers, but I have a reason for doing that. Easy. I despise them. Oh gosh, I forgot about this part. I did not know that was gonna appear. I actually didn't think that was gonna appear. All I remember is like, some of the areas like, when fighting Astroth or Sophia and that or... Yeah. And some of the other ones that we still have yet to see, which will be later in the few episodes, pretty much. Okay, and I only got hit by one. I'm cool with that. That's really fine. Well, but the one thing I'm not fine with is this little Berserker! I am not fine with that. DIE! And no, 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 I am not looting Mitsuruchi being wombo combo by the Berserkers and Assassin. That is not about to happen. Not about to happen. That said and done. <sighs> Just for that, I have to give me Thurushi some HP. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, cannons, I hate them. I have a feeling we'll be fighting more Berserkers real soon. And with that, I mean the silver one. The one we have been facing. Not that I know that we're... That we have been. I mean, we fought like... About 10 Berserkers right now, but... I know it hasn't been more than 10, but I have a feeling it soon will be. <laughs> but, but not to be kidding... But these... But these mummies are just freaking th the easiest enemy to, to deal with. Uh, besides them being very slow in that. <laughs> kind of like zombies. Oh gosh! Not falling for that boulders. <laughs> uh, mm. Okay, I have no idea what just happened there. I thought my thumbs up went crazy for a second there. I was about to pause 
But then I'm like, wait a minute, it's blocking onto the cannon! <laughs> alright. Alright. Alright then. Any goodies? Yep, there's some. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and activate the switch. Well, because why the heck not? Denied! Denied, assassin! Get denied! Get freaking denied! And there are more enemies coming up. More assassin! Just what this game needs. More assassins. <laughs> as long as it's... I'll take assassin for snop of lurkers. <laughs> I've been getting slaughtered by those guys. Even though I have not lost even one player yet. But yeah. <laughs> But to be fair, it actually happened on one of my recordings, um, and that was at the, uh, Great Himalayas, and let me tell you, it was actually close. Like, I almost failed the mission because of that. But, and no, it wasn't because of Berserkers, but boulders that you've been seeing on the LPs, because I have been being careless about those. Thankfully, I only got hit by a couple, so, yeah. And, you wanna know what that player was that I died with? It was Taki, the ninja. I was pretty devastated, but yet, it was pretty exciting. Oh. Boulder's coming. <laughs> I called it too. <laughs> How did I know that was gonna happen? <laughs> uh. I guess I'm a genius. Oh god. I knew that cannon was gonna happen real soon. Uh. I rather deal with that one behind. Uh. I don't care about all the other ones. At least. Uh, let's see what's in these goodies. Goody, goody, goody. Blade hard. I'll take that. <laughs> and it looked like we're getting to the boss, boss area. And now Astra says, yeah, when, when he's looking forward to the boss code. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to once again fight against Ammon. But first, we gotta deal with these mummies again. Just like we did the last time. And really, Ammon is actually not all that different in my opinion. Well, besides him being a... Uh, besides he's gonna have a slight change. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. And this is pretty much exactly the same of, as what we did with, um... Genki and Maki. And now Ammon comes in the fight. And this guy is pretty much no different. He's He's pretty easy in my opinion. He's like the most non-threatening enemies in the game. And after you take down like 80% of his HP, he will go into this form. I actually thought it, sorry, I, I I actually thought it was when it was halfway, but I guess it's not. But yeah, really, Ammon's no different. All you, just, all you gotta do is dodge to the laser, which I'm badly failing at. And this guy is really cowering away from the fight, just shooting, shooting stuff. And shooting and shooting. No. Stop running! Gee, stop running! 
This is not funny. Look at this dude. Look at this cheap guy. He's running away. Floating away. But thankfully we kept him from going any further. And for that comes the end of Ammon. The leader of the temple filled with mummies. So that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, oh, we got an Earth Rank! Yes! Th that is exactly what I wanted to hear. Yes! <laughs> but just for that, we now have Astroth's main weapon. Or not. The not his main weapon. But, but I actually do know what this weapon is called. That first weapon is his main weapon, so I kind of lied there. Sorry, but this, but this weapon is called Terra Moon. This was one of the weapons that you see on Soul Calibur 2, and I think on some of the other Soul Calibur games. But yeah. So anyway, I know I said that was short, but it looked like we did some pretty good progress there. <laughs> Plus, we almost locked me through she, but. Thankfully, I was able to switch out in time, so yeah, that was a pretty exciting episode, but yeah. So anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching, and remember, if you have enjoyed this episode of Soul Calibur Legend, would like to see the next part, don't forget to drop a like. So, next time on Soul Calibur Legend, we do Ivy and Lloyd as a team. So once again, I am Fightman 1995 See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friend, and take care. Goodbye.